Hello, so today I wanted to just do a quick kind of review and a little bit of a hands-on with the Kensington Slim Blade. And I also have here the Bluetooth uh, Elecom Bitra. Now this is from a Japanese company and it's a travel, portable travel trackball. I initially got this one because I wanted to try it with music production and I have a little bit of a music desk set up here and I didn't and I was getting some wrist pain, so I wanted to try and see, um, you know, how it felt to use a trackball, having used a mouse for all of my life using a computer. I do like the feel of the trackball, and the slim blade, the size of the trackball, is very nice as well. Uh, you can kind of move it with your the lower parts of your finger, and you can be very precise. As you can see, I'll just show you some examples here. I can go up here and I can roll over the different icons and then if I want to do some large movements I can kind of roll the ball quickly. Now the same is true of the Bitra which is a much much smaller one as you can see here. Um, the difference here is that you have a scroll wheel on the side and you have a couple of extra buttons. This one here is actually the left click so you left click with your thumb. So I've set these two other buttons to do different things with the steer mouse uh, application as you can see on the screen there. Then you also have a right click here. And one of the main things I really like about the Bitra, aside from it being really nice and small, is that the clicks are very quiet if you can hear this. It's much, especially the right click. It's much quieter than the Slim Blade, it is extremely loud as you can hear. So aside from the clicks, um, you do still get a similar amount of buttons. This Slim Blade has four buttons. And you get one, two, three, four on the Bitra as well. The other thing the Bitra has is one extra button with the scroll wheel. So you can use the scroll wheel to middle click and open links, for example, like this. So you do get a scroll wheel and a middle click, whereas with the Slim Blade, you only get the scroll by turning the the uh, the trackball itself. Now when I saw the reviews and people using this I thought that the idea of turning the trackball like this to scroll was really a really great idea and I do kind of miss it on the bitra but it is a little bit annoying in that the depending how fast or slow you scroll um, it's basically it's not quite as I don't know. I kind of—it's a kind of like and dislike. Uh, whereas with the thumb wheel, it's a much more familiar experience if you're used to using a, a standard mouse. Now I do still quite like this scroll, and I have seen people complain about the clicking sound, and that is true that you can't disable that clicking sound. So um, you either like it or you don't, I guess. So I've set the top button here to be a vector scroll, so I can actually just move the ball, I can just move the trackball to scroll as fast or as slow as it rolls. And I think that's quite a good feature uh, in addition to the standard scroll. I've set the other button here to a middle click, and as you can hear, it's a little bit loud and I would say that sometimes this button configuration does feel a little bit uncomfortable, especially when you compare it to the uh, the Elecom trackballs, which have a little bit more of a comfortable layout. So this one here, I can easily click, left click with my thumb and right click with my other finger here and do all my other actions with my thumb. And I don't have to move my hands too much to do that. Whereas with the Slim Blade, it is much more a little bit of, there is a little bit more movement of the hand to click all the different buttons. And they're just so loud, it, it can be quite annoying. The Also the overall design of the Slim Blade, it does feel sort of modern and dated at the same time. It's a bit hard to explain. It's These buttons are not the best feeling, although they're not actually too bad. They kind of feel like a standard mouse click. Um, but it is a nice slim design. So if you take the trackballs out and compare the sizes, um, there is quite a significant difference in the actual size. This one is better for, you know, using 
more of your hand, your more of your hand and fingers uh, when you're. Um, which some people would say, you know, it has less strain on your hand uh, as you're using it. Also, the larger the trackball, the more kind of definition you get. So you can kind of focus in with smaller movements and click finer links or finer details of things uh, when you're working. So the smaller size is basically you're going to be using your fingertips to move the actual trackball. Um, it's not as much with the... You can use the uh, your hand, but um, you, I find myself using more of the tips of my fingers when I'm using this trackball. Now, the last thing I'll just quickly mention is that um, the Kensington Slim Blade trackball, it's very smooth. The bearings are, they roll very smooth, as you can see or hear. Um, whereas the Elecom Vitra, I have seen people say that it's not very smooth and they have had problems with different ones and they've replaced bearings as well. Uh, that is true. This is very sticky. It feels almost like the bearings aren't moving at all. Uh, and that could be the case. Uh, but I have also seen people say that they kind of, they break in after a certain amount of time. So I'm hoping if I use it more, I'll sort of be able to break it in a little bit more. And I can see it does it's fairly quick with its uh, movement across the screen, which I'd like. Um, I actually find that the Slim Blade feels a little bit slower, and I know you can change this in the settings, um, but these are the settings that I've just gotten used to, and um, the Bitra for me, I don't know, I think because it is smaller, I can use it in tighter spaces as well, and I love that it has Bluetooth, which is really nice because I can have an extra free USB port. So basically overall, I do think that the Slim Blade is a really great trackball. Uh, it's probably more for, um, yeah, like a desktop setup. Uh, it's not really one that I would imagine you'd be taking around with you, especially because the trackball comes out very easily. Whereas with the Bitra, the trackball stays in there a little bit easier. And it actually comes with a little travel case as well. So I don't know if you were comparing these two trackballs or not. I know there's not many reviews of the Bitra online. Uh, I will be doing a more full review of this one on my other channel. Um, so do click the card in the corner if you want to see that when it's available. I hope this was helpful in some way and thanks for watching.